people have things deeper than financial concerns. People have things deeper than financial concerns. Here we go. That needs your money, the deep waters. People yeah. have things mm-hmm. deeper than financial concerns in their spiritual life, their mental life, their emotional life. And that is where a partner can really, you earn your bucks. Yeah. How do you hold somebody up when they feel spiritually weak, mm-hmm. mentally weak? Do you offer yourself or do you crush on people when they're down? Mm. These are the, the valuable qualities in a person when you yep. don't have the courage. Sometimes you hold your partner's courage when they don't have the strength to believe in something they want to do, yeah. something they want to fix, yeah. something they want to heal. And you'd be like, no, baby, you can do that. Yeah. I don't care what they said. You can do that. And you get a chance to bring that spiritual strength, that mental strength. And that's a gift. That's value. That's provided. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and uh, dive into it. People have things deeper than financial concerns. Let me go to you first, B. Man, what are your thoughts? Um, he's absolutely right. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, financial struggle is a is a is a huge topic for most people uh, in general. Um, but when you get past that hump, when you get yourself in a position to where um, you're comfortable or you're stable or um, you know you're thriving. Um, that's not the biggest thing. That's not the biggest issue. And I know everybody's money hungry and stuff and everybody's, you know, hustling and trying to make it and fighting for it. But um, it's kind of what Joe was saying, like um, your mental well-being, you know, your uh, spiritual well-being, all that stuff is way more important than than, than a piece of paper. You know, um, you can't function. You can't... Um, if you don't believe in yourself, I mean, all that type of stuff, uh, everything you said was absolutely right. Uh, you have to have, you know, you have to be sound, my, my, you have to be sound mind and body, excuse me. Um, you have to have that peace and that peace has got to be in your head and in your heart. If you don't have that, you know, what do you really have in this world? You know, um, and he was mentioned having a partner. You do want a partner to compliment you hold you up because the thing is being a man is hard being a man is so difficult in this world in this time um you know men literally have the way of the world on their shoulders you know supporting their families uh supporting their women supporting their children supporting their parents supporting their siblings supporting grandma grandpa whoever um so sometimes you're not going to be perfect sometimes you're going to go through things. Sometimes things go awry. Um, who's going to be there to help you emotionally um, to balance that out? You know, sometimes we lose we lose sight of our own goals and dreams and having that perfect partner there, having that woman there that truly, truly loves you, is truly there with you for the right reasons uh, can help keep that belief in you and keep that fire stoked inside you. All right, I'm going to go to you, Travis. What are your thoughts about it, sir? Yeah, I, I mean, I always say it that um, as a man, you have to offer so much more than just financial stability. Not to say that that's not important at all, because it, it, it really is for you to be able to just sustain life. But there's so much more to it, right? You need somebody who's grounded, who's going to be able to hold it down and people don't really recognize what it is that we deal with from day to day. Just the stress, the normal hustle and bustle, us just going to work, us driving to work sometimes could be an adventure, right? You gotta get, you gotta worry about if you're gonna get pulled over. It's it's a lot of stress, there's so much stress. You go to work and then you stressed out like crazy, you tired, you hurting, and then a lot of us do more than one occupation because it's just not even practical anymore for us to just do one occupation and be able to sustain like it's it's tough and um you got to have somebody who but trev, trev you, you touching back on finances trev i am you, you i am on. but See, but but listen but to get to those finances why, why, right probably be different than most but, of y'all go ahead but hold on hold on to get to those to get to those finances there's still a whole bunch of stuff we have to do to get to it right we have to it's not because it's not like money just spawns. We have to work to get those finances going. Just everything that we're going through on a daily basis. Right. And then 
You still have to support your family. You still have to make sure that you give your children the time. You still have to make sure you give your wife the time, right? You still have to try to fellowship with your family, your friends, right? And a lot of times just other added pressure. Sometimes your friends bring you pressure. Sometimes they bring their problems. And you have so much weight on your shoulders that it's difficult to navigate. So you need that support system. And people just have to understand everything that you're going through. All right. Go ahead, uh, Marcus. What are your thoughts about it? People have things deeper than financial concerns. Hmm. I mean, it so really depends, right? If you're in a situation where, where finance is the key thing for you, I think it compounds all your other issues. But if you if you you know solid and you're not exactly worried about finances every day, then you, you have a chance to like think about life. So it's kind of like the hierarchy of needs, right? Once you once you meet that base level, or you able to uh, sustain yourself for a longer period of time, then you start to think about other things that matter to you. You can you can try and self heal some of the things that's wrong with you from your childhood. You can think about how you're not being supported within a relationship from the woman, or the relationships you have with your family. The more time you have, once you get past the financial hurdles, then you you have to start doing the introspective self work to figure out how you resolve some of the things that are inside you. So that can be the real hurdle that's preventing you from even making the finances you want, or being the partner you want to be, or the husband you want to be, the wife you want to be. It's a lot of stuff that goes into life, right? Finances is a large part of it for people, but it's also a minimal part, right? So yeah, it, it's it's a lot lot of things deeper than finance. A whole lot. All right. Go ahead, Clout. I'm going to say uh, I'm inclined to agree with Marcus. Uh, I think that there's definitely a lot of things more important than finances, but if, if finances isn't covered, you're probably not going to even be thinking about none of those other things. Like, uh, you know, finances is definitely on, um, you know, one of the top priority of needs as far as like, you know, just living in this world. I mean, even in the Bible, I, I know there's a passage that says uh, money solves all problems. So like with that in consideration, you know, like money is kind of like that. It can be the end all be all like 90 percent of the problems that people are going to have are going to be related to money or or something, you know, in that realm, like, like, um, for example, Trev mentioned, you know, spending time with your kids and all of that. Well, if you ain't got to work, you don't really got to worry about spending time. You got all the time in the world to spend with your kids when you got money. You know what I mean? We could talk about, you know, not having enough time to spend with your woman. Yeah. If, if you got money, you could take her on those trips. She wants to go on. You can get her those gifts that she wants. You know, you can do those things for her. You have, you have the time to invest. So I think once we've gotten money out the way, it's very easy to talk about, you know all the other things and that we need besides finances but if your financial situation is messed up then yeah you're not really thinking about none of that other stuff like that well Luis, what are your thoughts about it sir people have things deeper than financial concerns yeah i really like what we madden started off and where plow kind of finished um you know it kind of comes back down to you know emotional backbone spiritual backbone somebody to be there Right. And sort of a few things were hinted out at me, you know, peace, balance. And the other component that I want to add personally is health. A lot of people out here dying from what they're eating and putting inside of them. But just as much people out here dying from the things that are eating them with inside that silence, that spending time alone and in, in letting things dwell and linger way too long, not. Um, expressing themselves, not getting things off their chest, not having somebody to vent to, getting things, you know, on paper or getting things across the mind. You know, sometimes you just need to kind of, you know, go to someone to be a sounding board. And I think that a lot of people have these things that they internalize deeply, that they're not really shifting or allocating any of the weight onto anybody else in their team or in their circle. And I, and I find that those things become the deeper problem because you can, you can, you can win the lotto tomorrow, but are you in a, are you in a mental state to be a good stewardship of that money? You know what I'm saying? Do you know how to allocate it? Do you know how to park it? Right. And sort of, I think it becomes a lot deeper. It becomes your mindset. It becomes where you are at life and how you view things. 
Um, you know, money, you know, there's a saying like money, money is the root of all evil, but it's really the love of money that becomes the root of all evil. And I know <laughs> I know Shane was gonna correct me, but um but the things that people can't get back that money can't buy is more time, right? And sort of you got to align yourself with the things that are valued because once your time is up, you can't take any of this stuff that you create or leave behind with you to the, you know, underneath the earth. So, are you? Yeah. 